updates or showing anything about what I'm doing. This is an older motor that I have here, just a single coil wind that's uh, been shown in my other videos. Again with the stainless steel rotors. And it's got these hall switches on here, which are just taped on in place right now. And there's actually four on here, only two are being used. And you can see the little guys right there. Um, two are being used and they're actually going, this, they're being sensed by this uh, controller that we built. It's got a chip inside, it's been programmed. And it's got a duty cycle and timing for an A circuit and duty cycle and timing for a B circuit. And it's got a generator output. I can adjust it for a generator if we want to pulse out. Um, it's even got temperature sensors here. There's a header that the um, hall switches go to and then this ribbon cable goes to the uh, controller. You can see the whole thing here. So there's an input and then an output. The output goes to the uh, SCRs which control the, uh, the power of the motor. And I'll show you the temperature sensor. It's sitting at 20. I got my finger fingers on it now. It's not set up, it's just sitting here, but I can put that anywhere we want. It'll give temperature the running unit 23 degrees as I put my finger on it. And uh, so we'll take the voltage up here. And of course we've got uh, three batteries in series for the output on a... And it's showing what, 35 volts or so? 35.5 volts, so they're a little low. And they're in series being charged just by the back EMF on here, so... I'll take this up to about, I don't know, 67 volts or so. And then there's a start button. So it's starting cold. And I've got the duty cycle set at 20, about 25, 25 degrees. And we've got an ammeter, so it's running at 55 volts. And it's using uh, about 5 amps at the moment. We've got a uh, RPM up here, 2630 or so. It's running really good. So just to show 2654, So we're pretty close, 2658, very close. So I'm going to bring this up a bit and show some of the RPM I can get out of this thing. You know, this, this uh, controller can be adapted to any type of motor. Underneath, you can set the number of magnets on the rotor and how many, um, if you want to use a single single coil setup, just A or B, it doesn't matter. It's multifunction. So we're up to about 3,000 RPM. Our input's still 5 amps, 64 volts. Let's bring it up even more. 72 volts. Still 5 amps. Even got a uh, clamp on meter here. We'll show the input. Uh, it's saying 6.5 amps or so, 6 amps. So the meter's out, it's not real accurate, but it's close. So what I'll do is I'll bring this up even more, up to 80 volts. do is I'm going to turn the duty down. See we're up to 4,000 RPM almost. There's 4,000 RPM. I'm going to bring the duty down a little bit. Down to about 20. That's the A side. And I'll do the B side. You hear the rotor slowing down. Now we're down to 38. Back EMF, we're at uh, 37 volts, so it is charging. And let's see what our amps are. Six amps. And we're at uh, 90 volts. 3800 RPM. Gonna bring it up a little more. Runs really well up around 5000, 4000 RPM. Just starts quieting down. So there's 100 volts. Still about 5 amps. 4400 RPM. 106 volts going into it. And we'll use the clamp on one more time. 6.5 amps. And we can even see what the output is in amps if, right here. If I can do this properly. 
got a 2.8 3 amps out at uh, 38 volts. It's almost 160 watts out, and we're putting in what six times 106 in. So 600. We're almost at a horsepower in, and I'll bring it up even more. It's running real nice. Up at 4,700 RPM. So I'm just showing this to show you the speed I can get out of it. I'll bring the duty down a little bit more. Oh, I can adjust the timing. I've got it set at zero. It's running really good there. But if you adjust this timing here, you can uh, set it for more back EMF or more power on the motor, whichever you want. Anyway, we'll just bring this down. So this controller is going to be great for doing a whole bunch of things. It has 4780 RPM. It's running real nice. 115 volts. Bring it up even more. I don't want to go much over 120 volts. That's what the caps are rated for. We got a 4970 RPM. It's going to hit the 5000 mark. So again, we're just over. Check the amp, amps again. 6.5 amps at 120 volts. And pretty well, just about 5,000 RPM. Very close. You can check it again with this meter. 4,997. There's 5,000. 5009 as it heats up the resistance goes down and the bearings get a little I guess the grease in there gets warm and allows it to run better so 5000 rpm and we're using you know 12 times 6 720 so we're using about a horsepower and yeah it's got some torque on there I'm not going to put my hand on it but I just shut it thought I'd show that I'll bring it down a little bit so you can adjust this many different ways by the voltage in or by the duty cycle or the timing and it works fairly well. So anyway, I'll bring it down and uh, I just wanted to show that. So of course this can be adapted to other motors versus a single coil and I've got something else going on but I'm not uh, showing it at the moment. Kind of safety reasons. This is pretty simple and straightforward. So I thought I'd show the uh, controller and well it works and yeah, I'll bring it up 5,000 RPM or so. 120 volts. Now those switches are good for 200 volts so we can really put a lot more in and 40 amps each so you know we're not even close to what this thing could actually handle but those cores aren't really the best they're just bolts and I've got better cores and things now so anyway Show this again, we're up at uh, what? 39 volts, 39.6, so it's definitely charging. And I'll just bring it down. So just a little update of some of the things we've done. Just wanted to show the uh, the controller actually. And there's a kill switch here, which I can use, but I'll be using the voltage here to turn it off. And that's about it. So anyway, this works great, and um, we'll be using it on other systems here. So again, thanks for watching.